Welcome back guys. So today I want to show you what I have so far regarding the ghost doll because it's really cool. It's actually turning out like better than I expected, which is awesome. So in here we are keeping our quail. Like I said, I will link the video where I talked all about how we remodeled this room. And then we also have some creme d'argents hanging out in here. One of them is for sale. One of them is Cassia who is recovering from a small injury. Nothing to worry about. You can see our fence that I have created. I'm like so excited about it. Most of it was recycled wood. The posts here are from our old fence that got taken down. I did have to chop off some of the top on them. As you can see, it's all nice and put together. So first of all, I'm gonna show you guys this down here. Now, obviously this is a concrete floor. So what I had to do was I had to get these uh, Tapcon uh, screws. And one of my least favorite things to do in the entire world is to drill holes in concrete. It's not fun. Uh, but I did learn a couple of hacks along the way. So that is good. I use these washers here to kind of uh, anchor them down, make sure that it wasn't going anywhere. And this is solid, not moving one bit. So I'm really happy with that. Same thing over there. We only had to do two of them. And then on the side over here, there is a stud in the wall that goes up like right there. So essentially I just screwed in that two by four right there and then screwed the fence piece onto the two by four. And I did the exact same thing on this side, right there. You can see the two by four up against the wall. It is 50 inches high, which I am told by the breeder will be plenty, as long as they don't have something uh, inside there that they're gonna be able to jump up on. I think they'll be fine. Um, and then obviously, like I said, this is open right now. My dogs keep like crawling through there. But I have all this hardware cloth here. It's been back here for a long time. So I'm gonna be putting hardware cloth up on, t on like all of the open spaces. So they're not gonna be able to, they're not really even gonna be able to get a hoof up onto this because I'm gonna put the hardware cloth in on this side. So it's all, for them, it's all gonna be just one flush flat surface. So like they're not even gonna be able to like stand on the fence. Put a little handle on it. And here's how the latch works. So basically you just lift up and it opens, sorry Ronan, <laughs> it opens inward like this. So when I'm coming in here, the goats, like I'll be able to push them back. And then this door goes all the way back here and it stays there, which is really handy because a lot of the times I like that to be open uh, just so I can have an easier time getting ready for rabbit shows and stuff. So here's all of my rabbit show supplies. Um, and I just like to be able to like lay those out and like kind of spread them out and uh, get all the rabbits ready and everything. So I was really glad that I made the gate so big. It's not hindering me getting in here at all. On the off chance that the goats can somehow escape, which I don't think is gonna happen, but maybe the gate doesn't latch properly or something happens, I think that we're gonna put a big door here uh, to even if they get out somehow to like stop them from going any further than this because the last thing that we want is a goat on our car over there <laughs> also you guys will have to forgive me this is like kind of overflow right now there's so many things in there i'm working on it somehow i had this little guy in here uh he's being scalped by my other quail they have plenty of food they have plenty of water i'm not really sure why they decided just to pick on this little rooster Probably because there's just so many roosters in there because um, they're all growing out so but we did put blue coat on him to try and help this is blue coat you guys this is what I've been using on Cassia too Cassia had a small abscess that we've been taking care of so uh, if in future videos you see that Miss Cass down here and sorry it's a bit dark but if you see in future videos that Miss Cass is blue on her belly <laughs> It's because she's been treated with blue coat. But do not worry at all about Miss Cassia. It was only a small abscess and we were able to cut it out and then I treated it with blue coat. We had to cut a second time and I think now it's getting better. So she's just fine. She's not acting like anything is wrong. I think that it was me mainly freaking out about it at first, but I think she is totally fine and she's making a full recovery. So when you go to shut the gate, all you gotta do on this side is just push it 
It is now locked into place. It's not gonna go anywhere. Very happy with how this turned out. I think it looks really good. Look at that. So nice and neat. Now here's the thing I can't decide about back here. I mean, I think I like the natural wood color, but also like, like I said, those fence panels were all like used pieces uh, that are only slightly stained and they're all really dirty. So what I think I'm gonna do at least is clean them off today. And then I'm thinking about painting them teal guys, <laughs> because hey, why not? And then after that, I think I will put hardware cloth up and I think I can get all this done today, but we will see. paint but I actually just found out that I have leftover brown paint I think I would prefer brown over teal in here I'm just hoping that there's enough in here to actually sorry I have a very rude audience right now that uh, just will not shut up but anyway I think that um, brown would actually look better in here it's a semi gloss exterior what did I use this on I honestly can't remember anything that I painted brown. But obviously I did at one point. Either way, I think this is gonna look good. I can already hear some of you saying though, I like it how it is, don't do anything to it. I understand guys, it looks really good from this angle right here. Like that stained wood, it looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna show you something though. In case you didn't see it before, we have all this nasty. I know I could stain it to match everything. And we also have like the posts and this that aren't painted or stained. And then on this side, we have it looking like this. It's just like kind of stripey in places. I mean, I know that some of you are gonna say it looks fine. To me though, I really want to paint it and have it just one solid color. Call me a perfectionist. That's totally fine. I am a self-proclaimed perfectionist. I would just rather have everything be nice and solid. I just think it's gonna look better if it's just all painted one color. So, that's what we're gonna do. I don't wanna mess with stain, it takes too long. I want this to be done today, so I just wanna paint it. <laughs> All right guys, so we got it all painted. I'm really happy that it's all brown now. I really love that. Um, it's not like 100% dry yet because I am impatient, but I'm gonna go ahead and start screwing on some hardware cloth just to get that done. It doesn't have to be perfect because I mean, it is for goats and I'm sure they're gonna, they're gonna mess it up a little bit, but that's totally fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start rolling out this hardware cloth and putting it up there.
right guys, it is done. Look at it. It looks good. If you're wondering what I'm gonna be doing about the bottom here, because the goats are inevitably going to try to stick their heads out. I am also wondering what I'm going to do there. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is just like maybe put some extra two by fours at the bottom. There'll still be like a little tiny space, but I don't think anybody will, I don't even think babies would be able to get their head through that space. So um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I really haven't figured that part out yet. I had to put it up that high because of the uh, those uh, braces that went into the cement. That's why I had to put it up so high. So you can see how we got the hardware cloth on here with our screws. Hoping that it holds up well. There was a couple of corners where I decided to put some washers just for extra support. I don't think they're gonna be able to get this off. It's really, really sturdy. I don't even think they're really gonna be able to mess with it because like I said before, there's like nothing for them to like get up on. Maybe right here, they could like step up on that. Ooh, that paint's still wet. But yeah, as you can see down here, we've got quite a gap. I just don't want them getting their heads caught. That's my main concern. I have heard that goats can be very mischievous animals. So I want to make sure but I'm doing everything in my power for them not to get injured here more than anything. In my time between filming earlier and just now, uh, I have actually put in this bottom board here. So now there's only like a two inch gap or so. And I think this is going to be fine. They're definitely not going to be able to put their heads in there. I am confident in it. I think that we're gonna be fine. It's also gonna help me hold bedding in here and so it's not gonna like spill out over into my uh, rabbit slash quail area. So it looks so good, look at it. It looks so amazing. So now that that is all done, so happy that that is out of the way. Before I was thinking to myself like, it was just mostly stress. And now I feel like I can actually get excited about getting these goats um, instead of stressing out every time I think about them because now I actually have a place to put them. Here is Miss Clove. She's the one that had the litter in my last video. And we're going to check on her little babies because they are starting to open their eyes and looking very, very cute. So I wanted to show you guys what they looked like. Hi, babies. Ooh. Grows so fast. Look at you. Little creme de argent babies. So very cute. Look at them. Look at their little belly. <laughs> Look at that, honey. If you guys hadn't noticed already, my dog Aria loves loves all of our rabbits. She always has to check on their little tiny babies. I love their feet when they're really tiny like this. They're just so cute. Look at you. You've got little cute feet. So, so cute. 